you guys so i'm coming at you with a boob q and a you guys know that i just got my boobs done with dr tunisia so a lot of you guys were asking me to do like a sit down video for you because y'all want to know like the extra extra details i did upload a vlog of my boob augmentation or whatever so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out i will link that down below so you guys are able to watch it that's where you're going to get full details of like the behind the scenes of what it's like to actually get the surgery done and then the my boobs were sitting super high up now it has been i want to say maybe like two months post-op because i know i got that surgery like in april yeah i got that surgery let me go ahead and check actual dates i will go ahead and list the dates when i actually got it done here in this video first things first let's just go ahead and talk about what i actually got done because everybody was like what the fuck jenny why did you get your boobs in again like you already had your boobs done um why did you go ahead and get a second boob job what was the difference between your first one and the second one um so yeah, so let's just go ahead and start off with who I got my boobs done with. As you guys all know, for those of you guys who are new to my channel or um, don't know who the fuck I am and you saw my video just somewhere just, you know, randomly on YouTube and are thinking about getting your boobs done, I did get my boobs done with Dr. Tanisha. He is located in Newport Beach. I know he has two locations, like one in Newport and one in Pasadena. I will go ahead and link his information down below. Also his Instagram somewhere here in this video so, so you guys are able to check out his before and afters and he is the king of high profile chichis when i first got my boobs done i got my boobs done with dr david kim these two doctors have two totally different styles i wanted to go for more for a buchona ig kind of baddie moment rather than um what i originally had my first boob job i actually got 350 cc's moderate implant i believe that's what the implant was called so moderate is just regular like low profile and it's going to give you that like teardrop it's not going to give you that um like projection up here and i really wanted the projection so let me just go ahead and show you guys my boobs i am wearing my sports bra underneath um so this is the bra that they're going to give you right after surgery i do own three of these so i'm constantly switching out of them i started off with a large at the beginning because i was super swollen when i first got them done and then now i'm in a size medium but i really really love using these because it really gives you that support that you need obviously if you guys do decide to go with dr tanasia he's going to recommend you what fits your body frame what type of implant fits you because i did get silicone um and most of his patients actually have saline and we were just going back and forth back and forth i did my research to do this surgery for about two years like he knows i've been wanting to get my boobs done and i was just kind of like yes and no yes and no because i was scared i was scared of the pain my first boob job was very painful and just surgery in general is scary but you know i got to the point where i was just like you know what fuck it i'm gonna do it and my man was like really there to support me i know a lot of people are always asking like what does emmanuel think of your surgeries but he actually encouraged me to get my second boob job because he knows i've been wanting it but i'm just kind of like i kept like putting it to the side putting it to the side and he was just like one day he told me he's like you know what i think you would actually look good with boobs and it's funny because i never thought that he would be the type of person to tell me that because he was always kind of like no i love you the way you are blah blah, blah. you know how guys are and our boyfriends are just kind of like no like you don't need work done like you look gorgeous how you are whatever right so then I'm just like, okay, my man said that I'm going to look better with bigger titties. So I said, all right, Tanisha, let me know when you have available. I feel like this video is going to be long, but um, there, like, there is a lot of um, kind of like mental stuff that you go through with surgery and also mentally preparing and making sure that this is the right decision and making sure that this is the look that you want because realistically, you do want to not have to get two surgeries done. Like you wanna get your boobs done the right way the first time, which is why I'm filming this video for you girls. So that way, 
you know, I hope that I'm able to explain the differences between each implant or whatever. And I'll go ahead and post a picture right here so you guys are able to see um, different types of implants so you can kind of understand what the implant is actually going to look inside your boob. So compare me having the moderate plus implant and then compare the ultra high implant. The ultra high implant is kind of more of a curve like this and then a moderate one is going to lay low like that. So if you guys want higher cleavage, you have to get the ultra high profile to get the cleavage up here which is what i was lacking with my first boob job so i will also insert a picture of what my boobs look like before so that way i can explain to you the type of work that tanisha actually did on me he did an internal bra so he pretty much did a boob lift internally because i didn't want to have to do a boob lift on the outside so he did a lot of stitching internal stitching on the inside and uh, my boobs were actually really low from the first time around and so what he did was like he pretty much lifted them on the inside and that's why when i first came out of surgery they were super high up and he did a bunch of stitching in here so that way my boobs are able to sit up um a lot of plastic surgeons kind of lack to do that because they always eventually um go down or whatever again it just depends on the implant right i can't like sit here and like blame the doctors because it's also like i didn't really know much about implants from the start and also you're when you're first getting your surgeries done like you're just like oh my god i'm scared to like go too dramatic but honestly i feel like after this experience go big or go home and listen to what tanisha is telling you like and if you feel scared of choosing a size so say for example if you guys want the look that i want right dr tanisha dr tanisha actually wanted me to get 650 cc's and i was just like oh shit like maybe we should just go a little bit below what he gave me so he wanted 650 cc's and i was just like i'm too scared to go into the 650 because i'm just like realistically like i don't really know a lot of people who do have it for me to ask for opinions and advice because all of the girls on his instagram they're all kind of like in the 400 500 and the cc's like just tend to scare you right because you know obviously if you know everybody and they're like in the 300s 400s 500s you're just like oh shit like i don't want to look crazy but trust your doctor because now at this moment I never thought that I would say this, but I do wish I would have done the 650 cc's because now that my swelling and everything has gone down, um, I'm like, I see what he was saying about the 650 cc's. But other than that, I am extremely happy with my boobs. Like, I seriously love them. They have given me so much more confidence. This is the boob job of my dreams. And like, these are the boobs that I've always wanted my entire life. And I'm just so happy that I have them now because I seriously love them. That's why I was so excited to film this video for you girls because I'm getting so many questions all the time. And you know, just little things that you guys want to know. I feel like you guys are my little sisters and I have to look out for my sisters. That's just how it is, you know? We ended up deciding 615 and at the moment, that was the number that I felt 110% about because I just would have felt so scared doing the 650 because if I would have done the 650 and if I was already panicking about, oh my God, I fucked up my body, they look so big because, um, you know, I went from a low profile to an extremely high profile plus the internal bra that he did on me with the stitch um you know my recovery was just like insane my boobs were up to here and i really felt like i had messed up but now now knowing what i know now and knowing that the swelling is going to go down and they're going to drop and they're going to fluff out and you know they're going to look natural my skin isn't going to look shiny all the time and my skin stretched out now i feel like okay i could have done the 650 but for now, I feel comfortable. Um, I really love the way that my boobs show because if I really want to do something dramatic, obviously, you know, um, wear something more dramatic. But if I do want to like cover them up, I technically can. This is what they look like. Um, let me show you guys from like up here. And I feel like they, I feel like it made my waist look smaller, which is what I wanted. Um, I wanted like bigger cleavage to kind of match my BBL and everything But um, you know everybody's different. Everybody has different tastes. Everybody wants different things Some girls aren't into the big boobs, but like I said, I feel like to me I'm just like a big chi chi kind of girl also for the stitching if you guys do decide to get the internal bra I just want to let you guys know that your boobs on the bottom are gonna look so crazy at the beginning of your 
recovery and it's going to take about four to six weeks for those um, stitches like internally to dissolve and kind of like um form out because i literally had like a dent in my boob like it was just so scary and i was like oh my god one boob looked crazy than the other i had to stay away from wearing open tops and it's just better to leave your sports bra on and try not to look at them i know it's so tempting to just look at your boobs because you want them to be where they are but trust me when i'm telling you like look back at this video when you are recovering and just know that everything is going to be okay and the stitches are going to dissolve and they are going to fluff out and they are going to drop they're not going to look that crazy because some people's boobs like are like super up to here and you know the worst thing that can happen i mean god forbid you have to get a second boob job but you know you do kind of go into the surgeries um knowing that just in case something does go wrong because everybody's body is different everybody's body reacts different to implants and you know it just you just never know what could happen it's a risk that's why you have to sign a lot of paperwork before you go into the surgery so time is going to heal your chi chis um drink your arnica drink pineapple juice because that's what helped me a lot with the swelling and also dr tanisha has been doing boobs for years you guys like i wouldn't trust anybody else with my boobs but tanisha so you know just kind of keep that in mind when you're recovering because i know when you're recovering like you just want to like get in glam and wear all the shirts that you dreamed of but it's really really important to take your um, healing seriously no drinking no smoking and also i would recommend to stop smoking two weeks before your surgery just take your vitamins like you know this is a procedure so make sure you're taking your vitamins and taking really good care of your body take it easy um don't do like a lot of arm movements like you need you need to make sure that somebody is there with you for recovery so that way your boobs don't get encapsulated or you can tear some of the stitches internally and you just don't want that to happen thankfully none of that happened with me because i was extremely careful um during my recovery or whatever okay so i think that's everything that i wanted to talk about as far as like information goes of what i got done and things like that so i did ask you guys on instagram to ask me questions that you guys might have um for this video so let me just pull them up someone said can you help me pay for my breast protection with dr tanisha please um so i was actually thinking about doing some boob giveaways for you guys i'm gonna have a talk with dr tanisha and um yeah because i feel like it would be so cool to actually do a giveaway for you guys um especially with like fillers too um because you guys know that i get uh, injections at flawless laser center so i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to do what i can um talk to the people that i need to talk to you know do a little business deal or whatever it'd be like we need to give my followers a great giveaway because it would be so amazing to give away and change somebody's life how has your confidence changed since going through the second procedure this is asked from cool cane 013 so shout out to you babe for answering the go for asking me this question so my confidence has completely gone up like crazy i know it sounds kind of like weird for me to be like oh plastic surgery has increased my confidence but like it really has increase my confidence after getting certain procedures done like confidence doesn't come from surgery completely you know you still have to like work on yourself and do like um you know healing and trying not to be like a negative person and you know just being confident so i feel like i've always been confident even before all my surgeries and stuff like that also working out does help me feel more confident too so any enhancements that i have had done has like helped me do you have to get your clothes tailored for your boobs or your waist so for my boobs um i feel like now i do have to wear a bigger size shirt so before i used to wear size small so now i'm actually wearing size medium or sometimes large just depending because now that my boobs are bigger like depending on what kind of look that i want to go for obviously if you want to beat the tona and titties out all the time wear a small but i feel like i am kind of conservative at times so i don't always want to have chi chis out all the time it just depends what the occasion is you know if i'm out with the girls and the gays um you know titties out bitch 
pasties and we're doing all that but if i'm gonna be with family i do kind of want to wear something a little bit more conservative so mediums larges just depending on the brand in general do your boobs hurt to sleep on your stomach so i actually never sleep on my stomach and this is actually a good point because when i first got my boobs done you are gonna have to sleep sitting up so i would recommend for you guys to get a recliner's chair because that's gonna be easier for you to actually sleep because i remember when i would try to sl sleep sitting up on my bed and my bed is not like a, those beds that recline like that i just couldn't sleep so um thankfully i had a little recliner chair so i would sleep so good on there so i would literally sleep and then i would just kind of change position so you are able to kind of like you know move your back a little bit more you don't have to use so many pillows versus sleeping on your bed so i would 110 percent recommend a recliner chair if you actually do want to get sleep how long was your healing process so i would say that my healing process was like a good week um i feel like after three days you're not dying anymore and honestly as long as you are taking your norcos and make sure you take your pain medication like literally on time emmanuel was so good at um giving me my pain medications and my antibiotics like set your alarm he would set his alarm because you do have to wake up like two times in the middle in the middle of the night and i would like to take my pain meds like 20 minutes before the actual time that is scheduled for me to take my pain meds because i just didn't want the pain to get to me um and the difference between a bbl and a um the boob augmentation is like with my bbl i stopped taking my pain medication after the first date like i did not want to take no pain medication and i never fully felt pain enough for me to um take medication if anything the bbl is more soreness and the boob job is more pain because you do have a cut in there and you do have pressure the doctor does also prescribe you muscle relaxers so that's going to help with like the muscle spasms and it's going to help a little bit with like the swelling kind of but um as far as like the swelling i would recommend for you guys to take arnica tea like two three times a day and just drink pineapple juice all day because that's what helped me and that's kind of more like more on like the home remedy side like the doctor just gives you your pain meds and your antibiotics and your muscle relaxer um and then i also made sure to tell tanisha please prescribe me my zofran because a lot of doctors fucking ignore me and they do not prescribe me zofran because i do get nausea when you're healing and drinking all this medication and the last thing that you want to do is throw up while you are feeling all of this pain so and plus i also do have a phobia of throwing up i'm a metaphobic so just make sure to bug the shit out of your doctor and tell them please prescribe me zofran because there were a few times that i did get nauseous and um i would take the zofran and i would put it under my tongue and i kid you not like the na the nausea would go away so i never threw up not even once and i know a lot of people get nauseous right after they take they um, get off of the anesthesia when you're actually going into surgery and the zofran just really helps you so please 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 make sure to bug your doctor about zofran what made you get a boob job so i see a lot of ig baddies on instagram and they inspired me to get my boobs done like i did post up some inspo pictures in my vlog video so if you guys want to check that out i did upload some um inspo and you know i just got tired of like wanting and wishing and you know living for everybody else's boobs that i was just kind of like i just want to do it like i'm tired of wanting big tits and then me just being scared of what my followers are going to think of me because for a long time i held back from doing so much because after you have a platform it's like yeah you do grow thick skin and you got to do what you got to do and ignore the haters blah, blah blah i know a lot of people always tell me like oh jenny ignore the haters but it's like it's different when you're actually in the position and it's easier said than done and i just felt like i was gonna get like shamed which i did but like i was ready for it or whatever at the time i like mentally prepared obviously but i got to the point where i was just like you know what like this is who i am and i'm tired of living my life for everybody else except for me so i'm like this is what i want so y'all gotta accept me for how i am whether it seems crazy to you or not because this is just it's who i am it's who i want to be does your back hurt so my back actually doesn't hurt but that's what i was fearing the most about um 
going bigger because when i first got my boobs done i did actually have back pain but obviously if you're flat chested and then they put some weight on your boobs like you are gonna feel some type of pain but then eventually my body got used to it after like a month or whatever and then with these i was so scared i was like you know what for sure i'm gonna have back pain but i was like fuck it like i want these titties or whatever but surprisingly i have i haven't had any back pain at all which was so crazy because i was like what the fuck like i really thought that i was gonna have back pain but no i don't have any back pain at all um i will say though sometimes when i do take off my bra because you know this is actually supporting it a lot and i haven't actually been without my bra sometimes i do like if i'm gonna go out or i have an event and like i don't want my bra to, sh to show i'll take it off for like a few hours and then i come back and then i just put that shit back on i just feel like in general it's kind of like a faha for your boobs so like you always have to be faha that always make sure to wear your fajas um to just like maintain um your your snatched or your snatchness or whatever and um, i do notice sometimes though like it did kind of want to hurt a little bit my back after i took off my bra but for the most part like it doesn't and if and if i do feel pain it's probably just like a tiny 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 bit somebody said sis we need an updated makeup tutorial please yes of course this is from erica shout out to erica for commenting this i have been actually really on top of like dedicating myself more to you guys because i know when i first started my youtube channel i would upload all the time and i just feel like i have been over thinking a lot of things and also i've been kind of trying to figure out a simpler way to do my makeup and really just like schedule my time right i'm actually starting to go to sleep early like i won't go to sleep after 12 o'clock obviously depending and like that's really been helping a lot because now i feel like i'm able to time manage it a little bit more so don't even trip girl i got you i'm gonna start filming more um as soon as i'm done filming this video i'm gonna start editing it and then uploading it because i really want to get back to filming um beauty videos for you because i get a lot of questions and it's hard to upload tutorials and things like that on you on insta story so don't even trip bitch i got you so somebody said rate the pain one through ten so i have actually given birth obviously you guys oh my god now i fucked up my lipstick um i have actually given birth so i know what labor pain feels like i've obviously gotten my boobs done twice and then i've also gotten a bbo i've never broken a bone or anything like that but i feel like with those experiences with pain i feel like now i'm able to tolerate pain a little bit more um obviously when you have your pain medication you're not going to feel any pain at all because you're on, you're on medication so you probably will feel some pain but then obviously when you take your meds it's going to take 20 to 30 minutes to kick in and you're going to be drifting bitch like you're literally going to be like i'm tired i just want to take a nap so you'll be able to sleep off the pain but i would say for somebody who has never gotten work done i would say the pain is like an eight in eight yeah because i don't want to say 10 because i don't want to scare the girls who are going to get their boobs in but it is what it is you got to do what you got to do bitch like that's literally how you're gonna become a bad bitch and um you know beauty is pain unfortunately beauty is pain so you just got to deal with it take your pain meds i'm still not gonna sit here and be like oh don't get it done you know what i'm saying like okay it's painful but fuck it did you have your implants inserted under nipple or under boob that's a good question and i haven't answered that yet so we went through the same incisions that i originally got so it's gonna be under the boob and the way that tanasia like fixes your tit like he actually puts the scar underneath your boob like he tucks it in underneath so when your boob drops it's gonna cover it and before with my original boob surgery you could see my scar a lot like crazy dude but like to me the scar never really bothered me and i never wanted to go through the nipple because y'all know that they literally cut off your nipple and put it on the fucking table put in the implant grab your nipple and stitch that hole back on and uh-uh that just seems weird to me and then the armpit thing i don't know i just didn't want scars on my armpit and then the um, belly button i'm just like that's fucking weird so i guess it's just personal preference but i like the underneath the boob plus it was where i already had it so it's kind of like why make another scar cost so i paid twelve thousand dollars um i know that if you get saline it is cheaper so it's something to consider but i did pay roughly around twelve thousand dollars 
um, because I did get silicone. So the silicone implants are going to be more expensive. Um, and the reason why I chose silicone is because those feel more natural than a saline does. And Dr. Tunisia made sure to really emphasize that with me because I originally went in wanting saline just because that's kind of what he does for all patients. But he was like, I just feel like if you get saline you know you're you're already used to the softness of silicone like a silicone is going to give you that softer feel um but obviously right now they're still a little bit hard but because my boobs are still fresh and they told me that i'm not allowed to massage my boobs because i did get internal stitching i got the internal bra so i cannot massage my boobs until maybe like later down the road but silicone is a more squishier um boob like texture than saline because saline is more like more like a word sign you know someone said how much was your jose tattoo okay i need to talk about this fucking jose tattoo thing so i have a birthmark on this side of my boob right here and it's a birthmark dude when i was little i used to scrub the fuck out of it when i was in the shower because it looks kind of like mugre too like some people think it's a hickey some people think it says jose on it i'm dead as fuck but honestly i'm gonna look into like maybe a scar laser or something to help like zap that shit off because i've never really minded it but everybody notices everything and they're always talking about that so it's a birthmark it's not a chupada it's not a jose tattoo but i'm dead as fuck i feel like i answered all of the questions that you guys asked but yeah that completes today's video thank you so much for everybody who has subscribed to my channel and who has been keeping up with me on social media i have so many exciting things that i want to talk to you guys about and since i've been starting to put you guys first i started canceling plans with like friends and just putting you guys first because i need to have more energy for you guys for my son for my family i'm just i'm really trying to get more content out there for you guys and also more makeup tutorials and just beauty things in general but just know that i will always have your guys's back and thank you for having my back thank you for um defending me when people are talking shit about me on tiktok or making like really really nasty videos about me i see y'all i be peeping and it is so funny when people try to rip me a new asshole and then y'all go in there and rip a new asshole for them too bitch don't come for me don't come for me because then my girls are gonna come for you too okay and don't be crying but yeah anyways you guys i love you all so much and um yeah i'll see you guys all in my next video bye y'all